Ah, oh, man, the vault mod has been giving me even more trouble than I thought it would. But you know what? I'm not going to talk about it in this video. I'm going to make a separate video in the next couple of days to give you guys an update on everything. So this video is just going to be happy. Just good times, no crying. It's, it's going to be fun. We're, we're, we're going to have fun. Just fun. Now, despite me bitching about the vault mod, we are making good progress with the decorations. So I finished up the build challenge area, the winner circle, and also rank progression, all of which I'm gonna show you in this video. Now, keep in mind that this is the overall idea I have for the decorations. It's probably gonna change before the, the final tour comes out, but not like drastically, you know? Like I wanna add in a bench out here, maybe some lighting or just something to spruce it up a bit. I'm gonna start nitpicking little things like that before the final tour. Now this is the build challenge area and the whole idea that we had for this was to turn it into some sort of science fair. And I took the Nuka World Park map and added in my own texture which is just a screenshot from the current build challenge which I thought was pretty cool. And on this side of the room is the actual science fair. So Strong, Charlie and I came up with the idea to set up these little props and displays to symbolize people submitting their build videos for the challenge. Like we didn't want to have a bunch of TVs laying around and say oh, this is where we view the build videos people send us. Like, that, that would have been too easy. So I'm really excited about the way that this came out. And all I did was scale down these items using place everywhere and then set them up on the table. It was actually pretty easy. But I, I know that it's not on theme with the May, was it the arena build challenge that we have going on? But I couldn't have been asked to do, like, six different arena style build. Like, I, I couldn't. I think it looks fine. It looks fine. You get the idea of what I was going for. Now, I can't remember, it was either Charlie or Strong, actually I think it was both of them, who came up with the idea of a VR setup over here in the corner, and that's what these memory loungers are for. So the idea was that you can use these to virtually design your build for the challenge, or go in and get a closer look at someone else's build, which I thought was pretty cool. I never get to use these memory loungers, so it was nice to put them into a build. And like, oh, I love these monitors right here because it shows us what these guys are looking at when they're using VR. And on this side are the voting booths. Now, this is my favorite part of this whole room. I don't know why. It's just a simple design. I'm kind of patting myself on the back here because I, don't, I think it looks good. I don't know. I don't know. I like them. But now we're going to look at the winner circle. And I'm going to change this star up here to something, maybe like a custom sign. But I turned this into a movie theater because I make videos on the winners each month. And it just so happened that we had... I had four spots for paintings to go where I can show off the winners, and we've had four winners so far for each month, so that kind of worked out perfectly. But I'm going to change these paintings a little bit more. I don't really like the way that they look. They don't really blend in too well with the rest of the room. So I'm going to try to make them look a little more lore-friendly. I at least wanted to have something temporary here to show you guys what I was going for. And a quick shout-out to Commonwealth Charlie for getting these screenshots for me. It definitely saved me a good bit of time. But yeah, this is the movie theater. I'm using the same chair over and over, but it didn't look good when I tried to mix it up a little bit. But we got some beverages over here, plenty of options, and also some donuts. I usually bring those in whenever I release a video for everybody. And, uh, oh, these statues. I do like having them in here. I, I do. It, it just got a little weird because I had them up front in the corners over there, and it was just it's weird. It was just this face staring at you the whole time you're trying to watch a movie. Like, what? What is it? What? I, I'm not doing anything that justifies a smile and a thumbs up. I'm just sitting here trying to watch a movie. And uh, I mean, anyway, so I moved them, them back here and thinking that it would be better. Like, oh, I'll just put them in the back. No, it's weirder now because you got some dude standing back here. They're like, yeah, you're watching a movie. <laughs> thumbs up. Yeah. I, I, I got to get out of here. I, I know it's a weird thing to bitch about because I designed it and I could easily change it, but uh, I just needed to get that off my chest. But the last part I want to show you is the rank progression area, which is through this door. All right, so this room is a bit kind of like experimental, volunt voluntary experiments, I, I, I guess, something like that. So when you first walk in through the door, we have a check-in station where we keep all of our documents for each member and log their progress as they rank up in the vault. And each section of this room represents a test for a certain skill, K kind of. So like this is the intelligence part where it's a school desk and where you basically just take a test. I didn't put too much thought into that part of it. 
and perception isn't exactly accurate. I wanted to have something kind of like an eye exam. I don't know. I thought it looked cool. So that's a spot where we check your perception. And I wanted these back here to look pretty high tech. So this one checks your endurance. It's just a couple of treadmills glitched into this Dima computer thing. So basically we just hook you up to it and then we can check your endurance levels. Same thing with the strength section. We got a basic bench with a barbell right here. But the cool thing is this pull up bar. So we basically we just hook you up to it and then uh, we can just kind of run a test and see see how see what your strength's all about. See how strong you are mentally and physically. And we actually start with this one. So this is just a basic scanner that we have. You just step up in here and it gives us a nice readout of your current attributes and uh, mental stability, emotional stability, all kinds of good stuff, you know. But my favorite one is this one right here. This is where we test your luck. And it's a very straightforward test. It's pretty simple, you know. Um, we have a flamethrower up top with some oil down below. And like I said, it's very simple. We just tie you up to that thing. And I don't know how we release you, but uh, there's some way that you're, you get released. And we just kind of come over here and hit this button. And we see what happens. It's pretty straightforward, you know. If you come out, we, uh, we assess the damage, if there is any, depending on how lucky you are. Uh, and it's, it's uh, definitely very effective. But that is all I have to show you for this build. I am going to release a video in the next couple of days to go over all the updates for the vault mod, just so you guys know what I've been doing and what to expect. And this time next week, I should have the security area completely done, which is going to be a really awesome tour because I finally get to show off way more of the vault that I've been wanting you guys to see. But thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments. And if you want to join in on the real Vault VII, check out my Discord server. I'm on there all the time, and it's become a great settlement building community. Also, I recently set up a Patreon account that has all kinds of rewards, such as private Discord role and channels, monthly giveaways, sneak peeks of what I'm working on, and a lot more. Both of those links will be in the description. But please give this video a like, and if you want to see more of my builds, check out the links right here that YouTube picked out just for you. And if you want more content from me, then click that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks again, and I'll talk to you soon.